Kane. Blue Kane came out to I'm blue. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you can't see the whole yeah, thing. Copyright. Copyright. Yo, so this is our third day. Me third and, day? Yeah, man. This is where, um, you know, supposedly Jesus rised. But right now we're, we're freaking tired. No, no. That's tomorrow, bro. So we're still on Saturday. Can you leave that? <laughs> this is the Sabbath, though, man. If you're Jewish. Hey, salut. Um, no. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, oh, my God. So I am tired. I, am I look like. Dude. You know who I look like? Dude, I look is... like CM Punk. Yeah, but here's the thing. Like, you, don't, you don't, you don't got an old man telling you to dye your beard. That's true. That's, true. Um, that's how you know Vince McMahon doesn't control my life. Yeah, but you, you have somebody else controlling your life, but that's another time. <laughs> Anyways, all right. She so... can control whenever she wants to. I love you, baby. Miss you. He knows how I feel about you. <laughs> Anyways, so, dude, on a scale of uh, tired as f- oh, yeah. to, nah, man, I'm good, homie, to, nah, man, I have all the energy in the world. How tired are you? I forget how draining WrestleMania weekend is. And then this boy, I was sleeping, enjoying Yeah, my- please tell the story of me trying to wake you up. 3 o'clock in the morning. Hey, because I did it for the culture. You did it for the culture. For the culture. And then I asked him, so what did you enjoy? And all he does is show me pictures of beautiful women. And I'm like, did you even watch wrestling? Now, granted, they were all beautiful wrestling women, but yeah. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. So, I mean. Oh, shout out to our girl, Billy. Congrats, yeah, girl. Billy, Billy Starks, yeah. You killed I, I, I I'm it. telling you, man. You, yeah, you almost you you made us believe that you were killed. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, she's not going to watch this, but I'm a big fan. Yeah, really. if you do watch this, yeah. uh, please like, subscribe. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so She's what was, so obviously we were together for. Uh, I have a list. Can you remember? <laughs> I have I have a list. So wait, what did we see yesterday? So I saw. I'm not editing Joey this out. Janela. He wasn't there. He was a Ring of Honor. Yeah, I was a Ring of Honor. That's what we separated because uh-huh. that was the obvious thing. We missed progress. I got into. Oh the yeah, tail we missed progress. progress. I got a tailor in progress. Oh, Joshi's. We saw Joshi's. Okay, so Joshi's. We missed progress. You saw Spring Break. I saw ROH. I did it for media. Shout out to AEW and their media team. Sorry I couldn't stay for the scrum, but. Which was the only next reason time. he was going. Next wink, time. wink. Ne- next time. Next time. I-, I, won't- I won't say I anything. I wanted to hear, hey, this is uh, Kung Fu Eddie from uh, the Kung Fu Eddie Propaganda, Big Propaganda Podcast. Say, hey, yo, shout what's out. What's up? Yo, shout oh, you out. You should say what's up instead of uh, baby. Nah, man, because nobody says baby. Anyways, uh, so right. speaking, so speaking of baby, look at Joey Janela just coming in all swagged out. Dude, let me tell you this. Look at Joey Janela's teeth. Dude has lost teeth. Dude. I sit next to the guy and I was like, I thought he had teeth in AW. Dude, well, he's still Smash Fan of the Beef for it. Anyway, he ignored you. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, Joey Janela said he feels like <laughs> Anyway, sorry, so we won't bother him. All right, um... So, yeah, what was your favorite part of yesterday? Obviously, spring break, right? Sleep. But spring break was good. Joey yeah. did a good match. Joey's match was good. Uh, screwed finish at the end. Uh, it was him and uh, Blake Christian, right? Yes. But uh, screwed finish means that, of course, Blake still heals, still the champion. Uh, match was a little bit, about 10 minutes longer than it should have been. Um, yeah, it was okay. It was good. I mean, you know. Um, uh, MDK, Mika, Death, uh, Murder, Murder, Death, No, it was game. Mika, Death, Oh, um, yeah, because yeah, the M is replaced, yes. yeah, for Mika. That yeah, was good. and you can't censor me YouTube, because that's their name. Yeah, that is their name. Um, and, uh, uh, the AEW guy, the one that dresses up like, uh, Dan oh, Housen. Dan Housen. Uh, you know, Dan Housen is a gimmick. Did he came out to Dan Housen is a gimmick. No, he didn't. Dan Housen oh, yeah. is a gimmick. He doesn't own it anymore. I like Dan Housen. I think he's a great wrestler. He's one of these guys that's taken uh, chicken, made it into chicken salad. I just, I'm not a fan of the gimmick. But what do I know? I'm the same guy that told this guy, Orange Cassidy will never, Dude. ever work. What? A match a week. I mean, Dude, if TV, y'all, he will not work. If y'all remember, Boy, was I wrong? If y'all remember the movie Bohemian Rhapsody where Mike... Uh, Mike Myers played that executive guy, and he's like, "No, way, he's gonna play Queen." That was this guy, and and then he was he was sitting in his chair. 
I forgot what match was it that you you legit looked at me. It's like, boy, was I wrong. But it was like, oh, I think it was probably um, either him and Moxley. No, 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 no. It was before that. It was him and Osprey. Osprey. Him and Osprey. No, yes, 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 yes. Oh, the Osprey match. Yeah. And you were like, wow, this guy could actually work. And I was like, yeah. He just does that lazy gimmick because he wants to live forever. <laughs> Except I've for, seen him on the Indies too many times with the hands in his pads, PWG, where he's just like wrestle circus, uh, wrestle circus. Uh, I'm like, really? But, really? But again, like it's like it's something so small that can make a big impact. Well, that's what my excuses tell me. Um, so wow, what a great singer! Come on now, <laughs> come back to me, baby, please. It's still small. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> If you're watching this, I want you back. Just, just know that I lost a lot of weight, so it makes it makes it makes it. Anyways, <laughs> all right. So, uh, so okay. So Ooh. obvious, obviously for me. Also, he got the lawn. Stop! Lawn stop! 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 Anyways, stop! <laughs> anyways, you know what's so funny about the pool? Anyways, <laughs> all right. So. Uh, so yesterday I did ROH. God damn it, I don't even want to talk about wrestling. Um, ROH was pretty good. It was very, like I said, like uh, black wrestling. They always Wait, say. Let me ask you this: Was for the culture better? <sighs> no, nah, ROH was better because, right. like I said, like like the way black wrestling always says, AEW ROH. Nah, dude, don't that's quote real, him, that's don't real quote, hip-hop. Don't quote somebody else to get your get yourself up. Be your own man. We make it here. We okay. The okay music. We okay, okay. So, the, so let me let me quote my own thing. All right. So our ways was like real reggaeton. <laughs> like okay, back see, back then with Daddy Yankee that stealing, used to stealing. they used to do the stop yeah that was that was that was that was Daddy Yankee. Come up with your own stuff. Daddy Yankee back then, you know, when he was called. You might as well say Winchester fifty fifty. You know, it was like a punching in God, or was it punching up at God, or. Which, Anyways, by the way, he, dude, found, dude, he, said, he said CM Punk stole that line, by the way. CM Punk, if you stole that sign, like and subscribe. Hey, CM Punk, if you, if you see this, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, all right, so today we're doing, uh, well, we're not doing anything. We're just doing one show, and then that's it. We're about to go our separate ways because your boy is poor, so I can only afford uh, GCW. So I'm doing, uh, right now, outside is the... Effie's uh, big gay brunch, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna do Joshi versus uh, GCW. Yeah. And then, would you like to share what you're doing? I'm doing WrestleMania, but the uh, on site, on location screwed me over. Uh, my lawyers will be contacting you, uh, trying to make sure that uh, my intellectual property is protected and saved, and uh, I get monetary compensation for the damages, both emotionally and physically, that you've done to me this WrestleMania weekend. So, please, please. When Abraham and Abraham get in touch with you, make sure my lawyers. You wear your protection. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, screwed Nick, by the WWE. Hey, uh, uh, Nick Khan, if you're watching this, please like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, so and get Eddie, rid of all location. They screwed me over. So we're still debating if we're doing like a post show because I know this gonna be tired. I'm gonna be tired. No, we're gonna do a post show because we have to plan out for tomorrow because we there don't know go. what's happening tomorrow. There you go. So so even though y'all probably gonna see it before. Before the vlog comes out, but expect the post show, even though it's already happened. All right, we're so, gonna be half asleep and half dead, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna be like, uh, oh no, we, you bought some Coke, so we'll be like Coca Cola, Coca Cola. We bought Coca Cola, so we're gonna be drinking little cans of Coca Cola while we start to stay awake. Oh, yeah, I know where your dirty mind goes. Also, I know we're with wrestling fans. Hey, uh, like and subscribe if you if you like. Uh, if you understand what onion in the pocket means. <laughs> Anyways, all right. TK, like, subscribe. Hey, yo, you know, hey, yo, you know, hey, yo, TK, TK hey, yo, you T- know. Hey, TK, I appreciate uh, the conference call. Oh, I don't know if I said it, but I did a conference call with TK. It was pretty cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Um, even though you probably already like this, subscribe. If you don't have it, if you haven't liked this, subscribe. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's not like I need your support or anything. He just needs your money. I don't need your money. I just need, I just need happiness. And you're I, I want to be. I want to be like Thanos. My ultimate goal is to be like Thanos. Like after I live my life, after I live my life, I just want to sit in my garden, put off, like put out like all of my war uniform hanging out, and like, then have a couple of Avengers come out of nowhere and kill dude, you. Yeah, my all, all of my old enemies that that hold grudges come find me, just like uh, 
like Beatrice from Kill Bill. Like when he told the little girl, like, hey, if you still feel the way you feel. Come find me. Come find me. Yeah. Hey, hey. So By the way, you know what? I tend to believe. <sighs> Look at my that, ear, so, so Tarantino's last movie. It should either be a sequel that's to another, Kill Bill. That's, that's another topic. That's, or, that's another topic. I, I want to do this. The moment that, that Quentin Tarantino announces that he's doing a 10th film but not hasn't announced what he's doing, we're, we're going to guess which one. Uh, but, yeah, my my guess is that they got to do Jules, Samuel Jackson. Walking the Earth. Walking the Earth. But Jules is, like, freaking 95 years old. Bro. At the at the end of the day, I want to see, like, a multiverse. That's what I want to see. I want to see the multiverse of Reservoir Dogs, <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Uh, Kill Bill is actually a fictional fictional story. Um I don't think oh, she's Jackie gonna, Brown. She's not ever going to come back and do Kill Bill 3. I mean, she got to die somehow. Well, her daughter. So it's going to be daughter against daughter? Because, eh. again, she again Uma Thurman has a real daughter. And if the math is mathing. Yeah, but Uma Thurman got turned off. And, you know, it was done by that that, that pervert. Uh, hey, yo, no longer. Hey, he's yo, in prison somewhere. Hey, yo, Harvey Weinstein, if you're watching this, like and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we're going to go in watch some real wrestling. All right, hopefully. Real wrestling. Yeah, man, we're going to watch some real. We're going to watch some NCAA real wrestling. Yeah, man, you should have seen Nick Nemeth. Uh, so, Thursday. interesting story. This is one thing I realized yesterday. Did my you arm know, hurts. Did you know that. If, uh, my, if my camera is shaking, you know it's because I'm switching is heads. Is considered a real sport here in, this, in, the, in Philadelphia? In the state of Pennsylvania, they actually have the state commission watching wrestling matches. Dude, Dude, yesterday? What a, what a gimmick. At, yesterday? At, uh, uh, at, uh, that would be my job. Just go in everywhere and just watch wrestling. And yesterday at Joey General Spring Break, I swear there were three times where the, the commissioner, I thought he was going to just say, ah, stop it. There was Is that blood. a table? <laughs> oh, my God. It was great. It was pretty good. It was good. All right, probably, so. probably the match. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Spring Break always delivers. Always. I just wish I was there. Anyways. All right. We're gonna transition to wrestling. Yep.
put it around the neck.
Last day in Philly. I don't even know if I'm gonna sleep because I have a super early flight because I gotta get back to reality. Back to reality. Uh, so hopefully from Rofil is down for a uh, post show because he has a not an early flight but a flight flight. So we don't even know if we're gonna vlog together, but today I'm gonna go to WWE World just to see the little exhibition just to see how things are looking. We all have a little fun, enjoy ourselves. Um, overall, the trip, the trip was pretty cool. Like I said, I wish I would have done more, but you know, I gotta make sacrifices, I gotta make budgets. So, like I said, I've been doing public transportation, I've been walking, which I don't mind, I much prefer that. As much as I love Houston, and I'm a born and raised Houstonian, uh, I, I hate driving. I hate driving everywhere. I wish everything was so close like I am. Like Target was like two blocks away. There's a couple of restaurants that I really like that are like in the same neighborhood. Um, like I said, I just wish that I don't have to drive everywhere in Houston. You know, that I could just walk. But, you know, it's part of part of the area that, you know, my parents chose me and me and mates i mean <laughs> uh weird um but yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying it uh truly i appreciate you i don't know how long this vlog is um so i'm gonna be putting it all together i'm gonna be editing it and we'll see how it goes let me know what your thoughts about the vlog please like and subscribe peace A lot lights. Probably my favorite favorite thing to look at. Freaking Eddie Guerrero lowrider. That's brings me joy. Brings me joy.
EC W baby. <laughs>